Okay, everyone. I like science stuff. Everyone knows that. So what I did here is I made one of these simple science experiments, and uh, this is very crude. Uh, I just took some speaker wire and just one of the just one of the wire in the pair uh, and made a coil with it. I simply started with a hole in the center of the cardboard, punched the wire through to the other side, and then the rest of it just coiled around until I coiled around and made a bigger coil. And then I guess you can kind of call this outer part the secondary coil, but it's actually still the part of the main coil. I just made it a little bit bigger. Um, and so one end of it comes out the back of the cardboard, and the other end is just right here at the end. And uh, all I did was hooked it up to my stereo. And right now you can see that my volume is at, at 29. That's actually pretty loud if I have it on a, uh, a speaker hook up, hooked up to it. It's on the buzzard. 100.7 WMMS, just listen to it. Now, uh, what else I have here is a neodymium magnet. This is a very, very powerful magnet. As a matter of fact, I think, if I remember correctly, this was like $50, and I think I bought two of them for, two for 50. So, this is a very, very strong magnet, and watch what happens when I put this near the coil. You can actually see the cardboard vibrating. And as I back it away, it gets quieter. There's no tricks here, this is the real thing. So the magnet doesn't have to be attached to anything. It's just the magnetic field is interacting with it that this is creating, and uh, it is causing it to vibrate. So that is uh, the easiest speaker you can possibly make. And the cool thing about the speaker is you can scale it up as big as you want. Giant piece of cardboard or even better material, whatever you find is better. Uh, do a better job wrapping the coil. Now if I put this on the floor, it's a lot higher pitched you probably won't notice on the video. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it, just lean it up where it was, and lean it up against the, uh, this is actually a computer tower, but I'm creating a pocket behind here, and as you know, if this is the speaker, this would be the box that the speaker would be sitting in. You're creating a uh, place for sound to reverberate. I don't know if you can pick it up in the video, but it sounds a lot more bassy, uh, a lot more full sounding and rich. Actually, you know what? That sounds better than a car speaker. And this is just a piece of crap.